So, I mean, this is a total catastrophe, and you might as well get out now because you're just wasting time and lives. You know, nobody talks about the soldiers that are coming back with no arms and no legs. And I saw at Mar-a-Lago on Mondays, I make Mar-a-Lago my club that you know about. In Palm Beach. I make that twice now. On a Monday, I let returning Iraqi injured soldiers come to the premises. The most beautiful people I've ever seen. But they're missing arms and legs. They're with their wives. Sometimes they're with their girlfriends. And the tears are coming down the faces of these people. I mean, the thousands and maybe hundreds of thousands, and the Iraqis that have been just maimed and killed. This war is a horrible thing. Now, President Bush says he's religious, and yet 400,000 people, the way I count it, have died, and probably millions have been badly maimed and injured. What's going on? What's going on? And the day we pull out, it's going to explode. We're keeping the lid on a little bit. It's still a catastrophe. But the day we pull out, because they're in a civil war, whether we want to admit it or not, they're in a civil war. Look, everything in Washington has been a lie. Weapons of mass destruction was a total lie. It was a way of attacking Iraq, which he thought was going to be easy, and it turned out to be the exact opposite of easy. He reads 60 books a year. He reads a book a week. That's. Do you think that's? Do you think the president reads a book a week? I don't think so. He doesn't watch television. Now, one thing I know is that when I'm on television, I watch or I try, because you do. Your own ego says, you know, let's watch, let's see whether it's good or bad. You want to watch, right? He doesn't watch television, so he's on television being interviewed by you or somebody else. He doesn't watch. Does anybody really believe that? Now they're doing this whole scandal with the U.S. attorneys. Now they're finding emails, and it's proven to be a lie. Everything's a lie. It's all a big lie.